so we're we're just out here for an adventure and I'm going to show you, we're going to take a walk, we're going to explore, we're going to look around and see what we can see. And, and we can find a snake too. I hope we find a snake, yes. We are at the Baker Wetlands and together going on just a little adventure. We'll take a walk uh, past some wetland areas and rushes and lots of prairie plants, whatever's blooming out there. So pretty. <gasps> Look, a bug on here. Oh, where? Right there. Oh, it is. It's a little caterpillar. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Good spotting. So we'll just explore, look for caterpillars, look in puddles, just take a walk. What I'm finding when I go out with other people instead of just by myself to do this is that you just get out there and then there's all these discoveries and all these amazing things that happen. Look, look, I just realized there are paw prints in the water. Get over closer, can you, it's walking and I can just see its head. Walking along like this. Eventually, we'll make our way into the woods and find a quiet place to sit, and we'll talk about adventure mapping and nature journaling. So this is like notes, but with pictures. So you make pictures that you know what they mean. You connect better with things when you really see them, and you really hear them, and you really notice them. Okay. It's, it's kind of a personal journey and if you're spending that kind of time thinking and writing about what you see and drawing what you see, then you're connecting to those things in a way that m will matter more to you. I want people to know how this matters to them and so if they don't already know how it matters to them and how they're connected to these places outdoors, I, I want them to have that experience.